In this video, I want to take a quick moment and do a pie chart for you and show you how to build a chart in FileMaker. Now this is the really quick abbreviated uh, video here and we're on our trusty dusty whiteboard here because it's the easiest way of explaining this to everyone. So customer comes to me the other day and says, I need a really quick pie chart. And so the customer is one that we're kind of doing coaching on. And so the issue was that we weren't going to really build it for them, but we had to articulate it to them. And so the number one thing to understand is that FileMaker is going to need the data organized in one of three ways. So the first way is that you have the current records in the database, in the, in, not in just a database, in a specific table. So you're in a table and you have like a list of records, right? Multiple records in there. And that'll have a found set in that list. And that will generate the chart from there. So that's option one. The second way to do the information is to do a value list or a delimited list. So I'm just going to call a delimited list. And that is basically where you have a single field, right? Maybe two fields really to make a chart. And you're going to say apple, orange, you know, banana, right? Banana. There we go. And so there's a paragraph return or an ASCII return in here. So it's a return key behind each one. And that symbol for that is a P with a little slash, right? This is a single field in a single record, right? And so this what this is. And this is another field here, okay? And this is going to have matching values. So the value, the first value matches there. It would be like five. And then the paragraph return and 10. And the paragraph return and maybe four. And the paragraph return. So that's how you use a delimited list, right? Once again, we talk about delimited lists in our video training course at great length. So once again, we're gonna make a chart, but we have to organize the data in one of three ways. So current table with a found set of records in a list, which is very common. A delimited list, which for those of you who pay attention is how we do it in the dashboard on FM starting point. It's actually kind of tricky a little bit, but we script FM starting point to build it this way on the dashboard. And then the third way, down here is basically going to be related records. So once again, three is our what we call related records. Okay. Now the related record is where we're going to do the chart on a parent table. So I'm going to say this is the parent and there's a relationship like the related maybe invoices or something like that. So it's one of these deals where it looks like this. So you have the relationship. So it's going to grab the related records. So if you had apple over here and orange and banana, and these were all records over here, then each one of these would have multiple related records and it would add these up to create the total that you saw in the, the value list that we had. So once again, the three ways are one current table with a found set of records, no relationships, is the delimited list with the carriage returns between the values. And the third way is related records, so the parent and children records. So now let's jump over to FileMaker and see how we build this real quick. So I've jumped over here to FileMaker and I've created a single file real quick. In fact, I've kind of just tried to save us some time here, but if you go into field definitions, you can see that we have a single table here and it's got a field called count, which is a number and a status field. And so once again, we're trying to bust this out in less than five minutes. So what I'm going to do is decide that, remember those three options that we had, we're going to select the very simple option of charting the found set that is currently in this table. So I'm going to do apples. I'm gonna say there's 12. I'm gonna say there's oranges and those are 22. And then, I don't know, peaches or something, right? All right, peaches. And that's 18. And so what we're going to do is we want to chart this into a pie chart. I'm going to go to layout mode. Now, one of the easiest things you can do is just drag a body part open to make it larger because somewhere we have to put the chart and if we're on a list view, that's going to kind of stink. So I'm going to put the chart into the header and that's what I'm going to do in this situation. A lot of times you just do it on a data entry screen, but this way I can see kind of the list view a little bit and also see a chart at the same time. So I select chart. I'm gonna drag it down. And of course, it's gonna say what kind of chart. And I want a chart that's going to be a pie chart. And then I'm going to skip all this other stuff and I'm gonna come down here to data source. And I'm gonna say, use the current found set. And it doesn't say this, but it implies found set of records in the current table, no related data, etc. 
And so I'm just going to chart display when are sorted or individual records, right? And so that's good. I'm going to hit chart back over here. So here's the category labels. I'm going to get status right here. These are the types of fruit that we have. And then we need the counts. So I'm going to say count right here. And so now we start to see data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say show values on chart, show percentages, so show actual values. And then I'm going to say done. And then when I go to browse mode here, I get my chart. So there you go. It's a pie chart in five minutes. It's very simple. If I go here and change a value here, then you'll see the chart change dynamically. Now, the color options have some flexibility here. This is kind of a nasty green color that I'm not a big fan of. Looks like baby food if you guys have ever had kids before. So what we want to do is we want to hit the style option here. And plum tree kind of sucks. I'm just going to go down to primary colors and do something like that. And hit browse. And there we go. Now, keep in mind that the finesse of the controls in terms of really easily controlling the color for each of the options. Or, for example, a lot of people want to move the label in here and things like that. FileMaker doesn't really provide a great deal of finesse or precision controls. We talk about that in other videos. So if you want to dig into this more and have more of a conversation about uh, FileMaker and the charting, feel free to check out our other videos on our FileMaker Pro video training course. And that's it. Thanks.